What is going on guys? Welcome to a stream for Ludum Dare number 40. Number 40. There's been 40 of these. This thing's been going on since, uh, uh, ever since I remember in game development. I've been doing these for a long time. Uh, for those of you new to the channel, new to the channel, new to game development, uh, just so in case you don't know, because I've actually gotten a lot of questions about this, uh, Ludum Dare is a game jam, uh, and it takes place once a quarter, four times a year, where you make a game in a weekend. Uh, there's two different sections. There's the compo and there's the jam. The compo is 48 hours. You work alone. You build a game completely from scratch. And the jam is uh, you can work in teams, and you have 72 hours. Uh, you can make something there and then after everyone's done we all vote on each other's games um the more you vote for other people's games the higher your game gets up on the list which means the more people will rate and vote for your games uh and it's a fun little way to spend some time um so it's gonna be fun um theme is not out yet let's let's take a look at the site uh it always tends to crash right before the uh right before the the theme release so we're looking at we, we got another 50 minutes still but i figure we got some stuff to do we're gonna we're gonna hang out probably gonna prototype some ideas based on the existing themes uh we got 50 some minutes uh let's look at the news <clears throat> theme j what is with you in that number andre what's going on fake account it's always weird calling somebody fake account when it's a real account. Um, all right, so the themes as of now, or this is, is this news? Where's the um, uh, theme voting? Let's go to that. Where are the themes? Where are the themes? Where are the themes? Wait, how do they know you didn't submit a game that you previously made that matches the theme? They don't, but why would you submit a game? I mean, it's... It, the whole point of this is to do it and just, you know, get some experience, make some cool games. Are you a fake account? I don't know, you seem pretty sentient to me. Unless the AI has progressed drastically in the past couple... Theme voting is closed. Yeah, I'm not trying to vote. I'm trying to look at the... Uh, look at the themes but we haven't written down because a bunch of people in our discord voted we're not gonna judge their votes uh, but we're gonna we're gonna take a look the current themes for uh, Ludum Dare I believe these are the finalists it's gonna be one of these maybe it's two of these sometimes um, sometimes there's uh, sometimes there if I can talk if I can actually like get words out of my mouth Sometimes there's ties, and uh, we end up with more than one theme. Should I participate even though it's already 1 a.m.? Jay, that's up to you. Um, I'm probably not going to kill myself tonight, because if there's one thing I've learned, if I kill myself in the beginning, I can't do anything near the end, so I like to take it easy in the beginning and kind of ramp up near the end. That's the opposite of what most people do, so we're going to do with that. But the, the themes, as far as I know, it could be one of these, could be multiple of these. Floating islands, the more you have, the worse it is. A single resource, limited space, expanding. You are not the main character, tiny machines, only three colors, broken world, start with nothing. You control the scenario, not the character. That could be kind of cool because I totally been wanting to do an RTS uh, meets tower defense, which would be really cool. Uh, one level, but constantly changing. Uh, death is useful, one minute into the unknown and everything is connected so it could be a series of those um, but we'll see can I participate starting now um, you can participate in 50 minutes in 48 minutes and 43 seconds that's when you can participate uh, we can all do it together so just in case you guys missed the video this morning I'm kind of kind of repeat what I went over there there uh, we are the underground so as the underground um, I'm gonna be playing all of your Ludum Dare games if you make a game in Ludum Dare I'm gonna be playing it I don't know if it's going to be live or if it's going to be a uh, recorded video, uh, but we're definitely going to play all of the Game Dev Underground Ludum Dare games. So if you're participating, get your game played on the stream, get some exposure, 
um, videos on my channel generally get a, at least a couple hundred views. So, you know, it's not a ton of exposure, but it'll get you out there a little bit. Um, and it'll be there for eternity, you know. And uh, live, I can give you some feedback if we end up doing live. Uh, I'll let you know what I think, what I, what I think could be approved. And all that. I think we have a whole bunch of people participating. Cool nerd. Um, we've got... Um, by the way, if, if everyone in here is not part of the Discord, go to Discord right now. Join the join the shit. There's a nightbot command, but I just set it up, so I don't remember what it is. Um, maybe it... Uh, I don't know. I'll copy a link for you guys. Invite people. Copy link. Anybody that's not part of Discord, go ahead and join up because it's a it's a cool little place to hang out, and there's an entire section dedicated directly to uh, Ludum Dare. So, what are we gonna do for 47 minutes? Well, there's a number of things, and I'm gonna let you guys vote um, on what we can do while we wait. Um, one is I could play some of your games because I know a lot of people on the last stream you guys were a lot of people missed it and they they did they didn't get to. Uh, participate in me playing games or two is we can start prototyping ideas based on some of the potential themes um, I'm open to either one uh, if you guys have games you want me to play and you want to go through it, uh, it, it even previous Ludum Dare games if you made a game for previous Ludum Dare we can go go through those as well um, but uh, either either one um, what I think we can do actually because Can I have a link to your Discord? Is that a, is that a are you making a sexual reference there? You're trying to make Discord sexual? Is that what you're trying to do? Is that really we're we're gonna go there? We're gonna go there. Okay, so here's what I'm thinking. I have I've had this idea forever. I've had this fucking idea forever. I want to mix an RTS with the tower defense game in Egypt. Okay. I know it sounds weird. It sounds it sounds crazy. Have you guys ever seen a game called um, They Are Billions? You guys heard of that game? Anybody heard of the They Are Billions? Well, it's a game about zombies, and basically, it's like an RTS where you just got to defend your base. I want to make something similar to that. So, so my idea is kind of like this. Here's here's what I'm thinking. So, I've always been obsessed with Egypt, even more Assassin's Creed's Origins, even though I haven't played that game. But I'm just saying, it's popular right now. But I've always been obsessed with Egypt. Something like a top-down, maybe isometric type of game where you start with like a pyramid in the, in the center, right? And that's like your main base. Um, this doesn't have a name. I'm just I'm just messing with stuff. Hey Tim, want to play my little game that I made in record time of thirty-ish minutes? Yeah, uh, should it shoot the link in the thing, remove the .com, and I'll, I'll keep track of them, and we'll get to that in just a second. So the idea that I have is basically you start with like a pyramid, right? And it's like a top-down RTS. So you got these little guys, you got these little guys running around. You got like, I don't know, like your, your little soldier soldier dudes, right? Uh, so you can like drag them and then tell them where to go, just like an RTS, right? Um, but I want there to be like mummies and like Egyptian mythology stuff, like whether it's zombies or mummies or whatever. Uh, and you're trying to complete your tomb, right? Because the, the pyramids supposedly are tombs. I'm not going to go into all that. If you watch Ancient Aliens or you watch the lots of documentaries that think the pyramids aren't actually tombs, but we're going to just assume that they're tombs. Um, and the idea is it takes you X amount of time to um to build the tomb and while you're doing that you got to defend it from the creatures of the night uh and there's a series of different creatures i saw your link the nuggets i'm gonna copy it andre 44 minutes hell yeah i can't wait i'm so excited so the the idea would be like it's a mix of an rts and a, and a, and a tower defense so like it's not an RTS in the sense where like you, you capture units and then you go and you take over a base. The objective is to defend the base, not to take over other bases or attack other bases like, like in most RTSs. Um, shit comes at you, so the it's kind of like it takes the multiplayer out of the, the RTS, I guess. 
So you're, you're just constantly getting attacked, but you're not attacking other people. Um, mummies could come out of shapes and structures. Yeah. They, it could be a lot of different things. So I, was, I was thinking like, okay, there could be like, there could be walls that you build, right? Like, like little walls that you build around your structure, whatever. There could be like little, I don't know, bow and arrow turret thingies. Um, and then every, every once in a while, I, I see your link too, right? I'm going to copy that. Got your link. Um, every once in a while, like you get hit with a wave of, of dudes, uh, whether it's mummies or zombies or whatever. Something to the Egyptian culture, right? Like, um, they come at you and they destroy whatever. You got to make sure that you defend, and you got to build houses to get money, um, and do and do all that. And the, the idea would be that like, if someone gets to your defenses, like if it's a zombie game, right? Like in their billions, they did this really well, um, which is an indie game. If you build a house, let's say this is a house where it houses a worker that you need to actually uh, finish your stuff and build everything. Uh, if one zombie gets in the house, the whole house turns into zombies and then a whole bunch of zombies come running out. Um, so you got to defend your worker force too from all the, the attacks and the waves. Uh, I haven't wanted to do this forever because it would be like a tower defense, but like defensive RTS type of thing. And it would be for mobile, which I think would be so much fun. Um, I don't know. It's just an idea that I have in my head forever since I've been crunch phallophobia. I've been working on Oh, you put a link to chair tables. Okay, I see it. I'm copying it. Ren, you sent me a link to your first game. This is your first ever game. The software he uses is OBS. You are correct. I should probably put that in the in the software command so everybody can see cuz that gets us quite a lot too. All right, so let's play some games. That's my basic idea. I'm hoping, because actually in the um, in the one theme, what uh, you control the scenario, not the character. If that's the theme, we could actually make that game, this game right here, and I'd be totally excited to make that game. I'd be all about that. Um, Tim, what do you think of this demo scene I made with just placeholder assets? Twitter.com. Mike, we will look at that real quick, and then I'll play some of your guys' games. I'll uh, give some feedback while we're waiting for the theme. Uh, let's see. Oh, dude, that's awesome. This is a really cool art style. This is really unique. I like this. What kind of game is this, Mike? Is this 2D or 3D? I can't tell. It's 2D, right? It looks almost 3D with the way everything's set up. That's really cool. Oh, it is 2D. Okay. So it's not for any particular game. It's just kind of... That's interesting. That's cool, dude. That's an interesting art style. <clears throat> I always like games that look unique because they're they're just so easy to spot. Like a, a lot of the newer indie developers that I see, because I, I get you know comments and emails and Discord chats from a lot of people. Um, open okay, whoever sent me that link is not a game, um, so I don't know what to tell you. <clears throat> Alright, gamejolt.com slash games. Ooh, Nightbot. Nightbot moderates for you? I didn't know that. <clears throat> Star game, let me see if I can copy that. All right, we'll get to that in just a second. Let me download Kingdom by the Sea. 
and we'll play this while we are waiting for the theme we got 38 minutes waiting for the theme um, okay infallible code what's going on man if you guys are interested in unity tutorials infallible code has a fantastic channel on that stuff you guys should check him out click on his profile URL on YouTube <clears throat> crazy gaming you're gonna be doing loot there too cool man we'll do it together come together okay nightbot nightbot keeps removing people posting links I don't know how to fix that so we got a <laughs> It was many, many a year ago in a kingdom by the sea that a maiden lived there who you may know by the name of Annabel Lee. And this maiden, she lived with no other thought than to love and be loved by me. Ren, this was a game you made in 30 minutes, right? <clears throat> Enter. How's the audio? A little loud for you guys? I'll turn mine down. The objective is. Oh, I missed it. Get the little birdie. Kill Nightbot. Is he that bad? Oh, moving platforms. Uh oh. Oh, that was a suicide run. Two suicide runs. Oh, that predictive jump, though. You made this game in 30 minutes? What engine did you use? This is Game Maker, huh? That's cool. This is pretty good for 30 minutes. I missed that one. I can't... The jump, the jump is like... It's slow, so it's kind of hard to, like, predict... I did it. I got it. Oh, it knocked me out. I got this. I got this. A mosquito in here. <clears throat> nope, nope, didn't have that. Didn't have that. Go away, bug. Alright. No! A lot of people hate the chat moderation by Nightbot, but the command management is good. How do I turn off the chat moderation? I'm just jumping off the ledge now. I'm not even... Nope, not going to make that. Ren, how long is this game? Is it like five levels or something? If it's something short, we'll go through all, all the way through it. <clears throat> so... I was a child and she was a child in this kingdom by the sea, but we loved with love that was more than love, and I and Annabel Lee, with a love that wings seraphs of heaven, coveted her and me. Ooh, we got that moving clouds now. Uh-oh. Can I even make... That seems... I'm just jumping off ledges. No! Alright, we did it. We did it. We got this. We got this. Whoa, what is that thing? That looks that looks terrifying. That looks Is that supposed to be an angel? Because it scared me. I thought he was coming down and kill me. An angel of death. It's five levels. Okay, we're almost there. Uh if I can figure out how to actually jump. Didn't I just beat it? Did it just... Oh, there was no... There was no little... No! That's bullshit. I call hacks. I'm too impatient. That's what it is. I jump off ledges. Oh, I jumped too early. Alright, 
right, let's see. No, I'm jumping too early. You click the button that disables link spam. All right, I gotta do that in just a second. What is, okay. Ren, did you do all the art and everything in this in 30 minutes? Cause that's pretty impressive. It did kill me. I knew, I knew that bitch was evil. I knew that bitch was evil. I called that shit. I knew she was evil. Cause that looks like, I called that. And this was the reason that long ago in this kingdom by the sea, a wind blew out of a cloud chilling my beautiful Annabelle Lee so that her highborn kinsman came and bore her away from me to shut her up in I, se, sepul, sepulcher, se, sepulcher in this kingdom by the sea. Keep saying 30 minutes. It's a month. What's a month? All right, maybe it didn't kill me. I just turned a different color. It's well, fuck you too, buddy. Nope, 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 nope. All right, I think this is the last level. Mm. If I can count. If I can count. If I can count. Nope. So we gotta time our jumps then. How do you... No! Are they on the same cycle? Or should we wait a cycle? Is that what that is? Yeah. Oh, you're you're an asshole. You're an asshole. You're an asshole. You're an asshole. Alright. Alright, I think that's enough for this game. Uh, I thought you said it was five levels. It looked like a little more than that. So we're going to have to move on because i got a couple other games I want to get through. And we've got 31 minutes. But Ren, dude, if you pulled that off in 30 minutes, that's uh, that's a hell of an achievement, dude. I didn't even set an idea in 30 minutes, so you got one on me. Hello, peoples. Enjoying the stream. Jex, what's going on, man? If you guys want to give this a try, Kingdom by the Sea, you can go to this uh, URL. I'll go ahead and shout that out for you. Um, let's check this out. So I don't know. Are these commas supposed to be? Oh, it is. Mm. He didn't do it in thirty minutes. Ren, I thought you said it was thirty minutes. Oh, that was your first game. I'm sorry. That was still a pretty decent game for your first game, dude. My game didn't even run. I'm building some canvas-based games to practice for Ludum Dare. Won't make it in time, it seems. Congrats on your gender. <laughs> games, when you make games, it's not easy. So it's... Anybody that can actually make a game, I always applaud. This seems like it's going to be a bigger game than we can get through. But we'll give it a shot. And you messed up my link. Nuggets, send me your link again. If I messed it up. I'm good at coming up with ideas, but I suck at making the game. I just need more practice, man. Just need more practice. I used to take forever to make games, and then I made eight games in eight weeks, and now I got pretty quick. It's the hardest thing I've ever tried to do. Still ain't there yet. Just need a solid foundational mechanics and then find the best way to implement. Yeah, I mean, I spend the majority of my time just prototyping, and I throw so many prototypes away just because you got to... You gotta mess around with stuff and find something you really like, and then once you got that, you can build on top of it. Hey Tim, I'm actually releasing my first Steam game next week. If I give you a Steam key next Friday, will you play it? Uh, I can't promise I will, but I would. Uh, 
I would like to give it a shot for sure. This is another demo scene made with the same engine, even though it has a different style. Mike, let's take a look at that. Let's take a look at that. Oh, sweet. That's really different, but that's really cool. Are you just experimenting and trying out different things? It's really interesting. Good job, dude. I like that. All right, what do we got? We got this open. Choose screen mode. We're going to go with windowed. Do you make a lot of prototypes? Yeah, I do. A ton. I mean, I haven't recently because first the Finish Friday stuff and then the Phobia stuff is due soon. Final Flames 2. Alright, I'm pressing a button to start and it's not starting. Not sure... Let's restart it. <clears throat> 72 watchers. Wow, usual streams, not even half that. No, we usually, we've been getting about 40, 50 people. We've been getting about 40, 50 people lately, the last couple streams. 78 now. It's not bad. Good luck, Tim, and thanks for making all the helpful videos. No problem, man. Press Z. All right, is that press any button? That confused me. All right. Arrow keys to move. Z is basic attack. X is skill attack. C is summon assist. Um, okay, let's try this. One player. Um, what do I press to continue? Z again? Okay. Select my character. Let's go with the main guy. Sure. Alright. Ooh. Shadow people. Oh, I can light them on fire. I like the I like the, the Snoop Dog. <laughs> what? This game is awesome. I like the little the, the prompts. Oh, set you on fire. Stay away from me. Hello, I'm the first boss. The final boss told me to kill you. Ah, well, probably gonna have to kill you first. Sorry, that's just, that's how it works. You're the first boss. Why are you trying to get in my way? You think you can defeat my awesomeness? This game is amazing. It'll be hard for me to get you a game over. However, I'll try my best to at least take out one life from you. You really think you can get one life from me? Come back when you have more experience points. I hate unfair fights. You're scary. I should have not expressed my opinions. However, I'll try my best to at least take out one HP from you. Yeah, yeah, whatever. I'll beat you anyways. You better tell me afterwards where you kidnapped my best friend, Jono. Before we fight, I'll tell you that I can only do two hit combos. He's going to tell me how he can attack? I can also summon a ball that drops lasers. Be careful and dodge those, okay? He's not a very good boss. <clears throat> 
After you blow me to the smithereens, do not go to the building ahead. The final boss is not there. I know you're lying. I'll go there and beat everyone up. No, you have to get through me first. The final boss told me to stop you from going further or he'll get mad. Now let's see who's weaker. Pathetic wannabe hero or first boss. Alright, we're gonna fuck him up. Let's do this. Let's do this. Oh. Uh, can't, can't mess with this. Oh. Uh, I'm gonna light you on fire. Eat it. Did I hit both of them? I'm not doing very well. My health. No! My health is. Ah, oh, I got deleted. I got pwned. I thought I was gonna fuck him up too. Hold escape or select for gamepad. Get the game. Can we? Oh, can we restart? Okay. Or not? Was I not supposed to do that? Because I don't have a character right now. My character's at HP. Well, we found a bug. Um, probably should uh, fix that. I don't know who he's, who he's fighting. Enter. Oh, I respawned. Okay, not a bug. Perfect. Is, is, what? Yeah. Yeah. Chapter 2. Alright, this game is awesome. What do we got? What are we doing on time? We got 21 minutes. I didn't select a character. See, see, okay. This is the kind of stuff that, oh shit, we're getting beat up. Alright. When, I'm like a super casual player. I don't usually read a lot of text and I don't usually pay attention to stuff. So, when someone's like, doesn't see something... In one of my games, I always kind of take that as as an indicator that like I need to rethink that UI or figure out how to make it more visible. Not that it's bad. Like I'm not. I'm probably not the target audience for this game, so I wouldn't know. But um, if I miss that, it's likely that other people might miss it too. I really, I really, I can tell you put a lot of work into this game though. I really like. It feels good. I love. How it doesn't take itself too seriously, like the, the fighting doesn't feel bad at all. But it feels very responsive. And you've got a very distinct, like it uh, looks like a very distinct art style. Interesting. It definitely gets harder. How do I, is there a way can I block the blue things? I passed the main objective? See, I'm not even paying attention. I'm not... I got deleted again. All right, I highly recommend everybody go play this game. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna link to it. Final Flames Two. Everybody check this out. Hey Tim, I made this in a month. It's a mobile phone game, but you can play on PC too. Twenty two games. Okay, we'll, we'll, we'll mess with this. S three F. We'll we'll take a look at this in a second. Dot itch dot io slash gates of Hades. All right, one sec. So this is end of days. This got sent. Um, is this just a trailer? I can't grab it on Steam, but we'll watch the we'll watch the trailer. Nikos, I will, uh, I'll get that in just a second. I got your link. This is like a, a VR type of shooter. That's kind of cool, like with voxel style. That's kind of cool. Input funny. Uh, if we have time, I will do that. We're looking at about 20 minutes, so we may be, may be running low at this point. It's a cool game, man. Is this early? Yeah, it's early access. End of days. Is it VR? Yeah, Vive. It's cool, dude. 
All right, let's check out uh, Gates of Hades. Um, Gates of Hades. Gates of Hades. It will be VR and non-VR when I'm done. That's cool though. I like I like how it looks. It's interesting. Dude, you should have sent me your uh your uh Zelda thing. I wanted to play that. It looked amazing. Alright, uh let's go let's go a little bit lower. Oh, we could do ten twenty. That's fine. Which one? Whatever one you showed off. Can try Pong Slot now. Still a couple of bugs, but it's yes, yes, we can play Pong Slot. Absolutely, we can play Pong Slot. I mean, I saved the link. All right, let's play this. Time of Ares. The time of prophecy has come. We march north. Come back with your shield or upon it. Uh, okay, it's just like a lots of menu play Select Okay, here we go Persian invasion of Greece has come the Oracle is right in our hearts. We all felt it. We all prepared for it We're all ready for it. None of us knew what would happen next except the gates of Hades await us at the end of our journey that did not bother us. We are not afraid to die, and we have no fear of death because we knew that we are immortal, and our spirit is the Alpha and Omega, the beginning and end. It will never die. You are in command of a band of warriors and must keep each one of them alive till the end of the level. If one dies, they all die. They are one. You can use the buttons on the bottom of the screen to perform commands. Some of them will have individual cooldowns, so use them wisely. This is the one you're saying was a mobile game, right? Okay, this shoots. I fucked that up. I fucked that up. Uh, shields up. Okay. No, we got you guys. No, how do I? Uh. Um. Probably should be a cooldown on this. Maybe. So that just seems like the easiest way to. Sure, I could press one, two, three. Oh, that works. It's interesting that if one of them die, they all die, though. Incoming. Oh, the arrows. So we need the shield up when there are arrows. That's kind of cool. It gets harder. Blocked ya. Blocked ya. Is there? It would be. It would be nice to see like how many people I've killed, like some kind of scoring or something. Or like just some kind of progression, like I'm 80% of the way through phase one or something like that. Um, okay, all of my guys died. All of my guys died. That's a that's a cool concept though. If one dies, they all die. I feel like that would make a great theme for Ludum Dare too. Gates of Hades. recommend that you guys check it out yeah I suck I, I'm sorry um, okay we're looking at 13 minutes all right um I know all you guys got uh, I have two other links here but um, Leo has been in our group for a long time and we've been seeing this game over and over in multiple streams, in multiple things, so I'm gonna bump him to the front of the queue. Uh, 
I'm excited for this. Good dough. Their their new update to their engine looks awesome. I'll keep it the right ratio. Uh, get the ball past the enemy or destroy them to score. First to 20 wins. Okay. Hit the circle with the ball to get a power up. Whoever last hit the ball claims it. Oh, so he gets the... Oh, shit. That is fucking terrifying. That's terrifying. Dude, this game looks amazing. This game looks insane. All powers auto fire, not moving your paddle, increase its abilities. This game looks. It, this fucking looks amazing. He's gonna get the power up again. Oh no, we got this. Oh, we missed it. Gotta get. You gotta be exact. Ah! I saw that one on Twitter. Yeah, I've been seeing this game for. See, okay, so what's the right option there, though, Leo? When he's like bombarding. Bombarding. Can I take hits with this thing? Like, if he's bombarding where the ball is, is it better to get the ball? Or is it better to avoid the hits? But this. Dude, this looks amazing. This is such a unique looking thing. Alright, we got a power up. Bounce the ball off your weapon. Not sure. Oh, shit, what are those? Balls go slower. This is a really cool concept though. I really like this. This is this is really unique, really interesting. And I love the art style. Is there multiplayer in this game? <clears throat> that would be really interesting, right? Playing playing this with someone else. <clears throat> No. I'm losing horribly. I'm losing horribly. Leo, how do you like Godot as an engine? This seems like it runs really good. Like there's no slowdown, there's a lot of effects. I know the, all the effects are probably your design, but oh, we missed that one. Did you make the background art yourself? Looks great. Yeah, Leo did a fantastic fucking job. Been following this game on Twitter for a long time. This looks great. Godot is good. Oh, that's sweet, man. It This really does look fantastic. It looks amazing, Leo. Good job on that. All right, I'm horrible at it, though. All right, uh, Leo, you don't mind if, or do you, do you mind if I give that, that link out, or you just kind of wanted me to play it? Has a dedicated 2D renderer compared with the other ones? 
They just did 3D too in their last update, right? All right, we got eight minutes. The ball needs to stand out more. I would actually kind of agree with that. There are a couple times because the ball, some of the the balls look crazy uh, when they come down. They look like balls. So I would. That's probably a good. All right, Leo said I could change share the link. If any of you guys want to play that game that he just uh, that I just played, you can check that out there. Um, we got eight minutes till the theme. I'm also going to open up the Twitter account for Ludum Dare because the website crashes a lot, especially during theme time. What do you guys hope it is? What do you guys hope is the uh, the theme, man? I'm I'm hoping for. Um, Let me look at that list we had. I'm hoping for you control the scenario, not the character. I think that would be really interesting. And we could do that that game I've been thinking of forever. Um, one minute would probably be cool too. Everything is connected. That's the one you like, Bradley. One resource, nuggets. Shattered World, Wendrick. Shattered World seems too... Uh, it just seems really abstract to me. Like, not that that's a bad thing, but it's like... That feels more like story-based or thematic. Did you say you were streaming tomorrow too? Yeah, I'm streaming Saturday and Sunday. I'm going to stream the whole game development of Ludum Dare, so... <sighs> not promising anything, but... I'm hoping to put in probably 20 or 30 hours of stream this weekend. So we'll see what we end up with. Last Ludum Dare, we ended up getting about 15 hours in. Um, but considering we've been doing 10 hour finish Fridays, um, I think we can pull it off. 10 hours a day. Are you joining the jam or the compo? I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to start with... Uh, I always get these confused. The jam is a long one, right? Yeah, the jam is a long one. I'm gonna I'm gonna start with the compo because that's the one I usually go into, and then maybe Monday we can play some some games. Uh, but if I'm not done, I may enter the jam instead. But I am working alone as of now. Um. A couple people have emailed me about potentially doing music or something like that as a team for Ludum Dare, but I never heard back from any of those people, so I don't know. I assume I'm working alone this time. I like the compo. It's the traditional game jam type of thing, working solo. I'm a lone wolf most of the time. Hey, Tim, by the way, do you know an iOS game called Cubix made by Dilmer? That's another game I helped with. Did you really? I followed Dilmer on uh, Twitter, and he's awesome. I like like all of his stuff. I love him. He's on my right here. Cubix is a fantastic game. I definitely recommend you check that out. Cause I saw this too. He's always working on stuff. He's posting stuff every day. He's inspiring. I actually I messaged him because I wanted to do an interview with him for the YouTube channel. So we'll do that at some point. I'm sure. Is that the only game you helped him with? That's cool. Are you helping with the, the Tiny Wheels thing? Because I know that he's been working on that a lot lately. I don't know I don't know any of his other games, though. I know he's got a whole website. Cubics. Oh, the Stickman World, right? Yeah. I've never seen that. It's cool stuff. It's cool stuff for sure. Unity doesn't preserve my pixel art very well. Mike, that's cool, dude. He's a cool guy. We've uh, we've talked back and forth a couple times. All right, three minutes, three minutes, thirty seconds. Game maker, Godot, or Construct. Worked on tiny rooms, but we abandoned the idea at some point. That's cool. He's one of those finishers. I, I really I really admire people that consistently finish games. Because I know how hard it is. 
for sure. So I like the guy. We've got two minutes and 50 seconds. I'm excited. Let's do this. <clears throat> let me let me test see if this works from here. I think it does. In round three, there was a theme called one player split screen. That would have been pretty cool. I think. How would you make a one player like? That's a hard theme. That's a yeah. That would have to be like some kind of multicam thing. What program is a good place to start for making games like a total beginner? If you have zero programming experience, um, honestly, if you have zero programming experience, I would start with something like Mario Maker that you can just kind of drag and drop. And then as you get more and more familiar with how games work, I would maybe dive into something like Game Maker or Construct. Are there any more... Are there any that you're more prepared for? I really, like I said, I really want it to be the, you control the scenario, not the character, because that'll let me make this fucking Egyptian pyramid game that I've been wanting to make forever that I've been thinking about nonstop. Um, but I'm not going to force it. Like, if the theme doesn't fit, I'm not going to, I'm not going to make that game anyway. Which one do you not want to get? I'll show you my votes. These, this is what I voted for. One minute into the unknown, everything is connected. You control the scenario, not the character. Only three colors, a single resource. Those are the ones I voted for. The rest I downvoted. Floating Islands, I was like, eh, I could do that. I could, maybe not. But those are those are my votes. For sure. Almost there. Almost there. 55 seconds. Let's prepare our post. Theme is, just so everybody knows, we'll do at here. Can we be friends? Yeah, we can be friends. Welcome, friend, to the stream. I used to design websites a few years back, HTML, PHP. Yeah, I did a lot in that, too. Um, a lot of my the stuff that I know is web technologies. Thirty seconds, ten seconds, let's go. That's an amazing name, Chucky the Vampire Slayer. All right, let's see. Website's gonna crash, cause it always does. Website's gonna crash. Twitter's usually faster to get the theme. Okay, Ludendare 40 is the more you have, the worse it is. Ah, oh, I don't like that one. I do not like that one. The more you have, the worse it is. The more you have, the worse it is. The more you. Oh, and he posts a gif of spiders. Jesus. All right, you've heard it here, people. The official theme is the more you have, the worse it is. What are we going to do? Let's start prototyping. Let's start prototyping. Uh, I'm thinking, you know what I'm thinking? Like, maybe it's like a shooter where the collectibles are all debuffs. Like a top-down type of shooting game. But everything you collect is like a debuff that like fucks with the world in some way. I am unprepared for that theme. I am too. Like what the fuck? That is probably the last theme that I wanted. Like that'd be a kind of cool idea too. I wonder if we can get some uh, procedural generation going too. In um. In time for the. The more you have, the worse it gets. I guess we could kind of do zombies with that too. Like the more zombies, the worse it gets. But is that have or is that 
I don't let's let's brainstorm ideas. Let's brainstorm ideas. Um What could we do? We could do um we could do zombies. We could do top down shooter where all collectibles are debuffs and score is based on debuffs. I guess. I don't know. Uh, micromanaging isn't fun. Alright, we are. This chat is going insane. For me. Top down zombie shooter will kill zombies, but every kill. For every kill, two zombies appear. That's interesting. For every kill, two zombies, two more appear. Let's not tie that to zombies. Let's just keep that general. That, come on. That was one of the themes I had nothing for. Yeah, me either, man. I'm, I'm bummed about that. But it'll be fun. It'll be a fun challenge. Mess with traditional platformer collectible idea. That's kind of what I was thinking. Like, maybe just debuffs. Drugs or alcohol is also a good one. We, we could do some kind of commentary game about drugs, alcohol, I don't know, uh, gambling, who knows. Uh, everyone will do zombies, probably. The more life you have, the more zombies spawn. Basket carrying man with falling apples. How about an FPS in which Evil Doll goes around stabbing vampires with a knife and silver blade? That kind of sounds like your name, Chucky the Vampire Slayer. Uh, we're doing a 2D game, though, so FPS is out. Coins or rings make the game harder? I, I can't even keep up with this chat, so I gotta, I gotta skip some ideas. I'm sorry. Um, Alright, here's what I'm thinking. Here's, here's what I'm thinking. More food, eat slower, jump lower. Like a fitness game. Sinking ship, the more water, the more it sinks. I do like the trade-off between ammo supply and movement speed. The more you have, the worse it gets. Like ammo, that's interesting. The more ammo you have, the slower you go. That's interesting. Game where you die so you avoid health packs and lives. Make it 2.5D, bro. Why would we make a game about you, Chucky? It's kind of vain, don't you think? Come in a stream and just assume people are going to make a game about you. Balance game where you have to have the balance, the harder it is. The more gold that you have, the more reinforcements they send to get your gold. Like okay, like like you gotta you gotta collect a bunch of shit and get to the end, but the the more you collect, the slower you get. Political game: the more followers you gain, the higher the chance of getting assassinated. That's interesting. That's interesting. I wanna if we can do like a unique mechanic of some sort, because we gotta we gotta scope small, because I wanna spend a lot of. Uh, Excuse me. I want to spend a lot of time on polish, so I would love to get the game done tomorrow. Spend all Sunday on polish. Um, make it to where your goal is to die, but medics keep trying to heal you and step and you step on a life pack landmines. <laughs> Aggro based. Okay, let's start. Let's start prototyping. Um, let's just let's just start prototyping. Because I'm gonna start with some of these ideas. So let's do. Empty ST portrait. Yeah, we don't need we don't need high. We can do 720p, I guess. I'm gonna escape. You why don't you use money in the game? And the more you have, the more thieves will try and attack you. But to finish the level, you need a sum of money. That's interesting. And the money could be based on like the or the score could be based on the money. I'm gonna copy your idea, Mike. We'll put it in our list. Let's prototype the movement slowing down the more you collect. Let's let's do a really quick prototype of that. Um and see what we come up with. So let's do um
128 by 128 character will be red uh, we're gonna put a face on him that's our guy uh, we'll name it player we'll do 64 64 um, suit new object collectible 128 by 128 we'll, we'll make this coins for this example coins mm, 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 mm. coin game where you have a prison and the more prisoners you take in the more they try and escape that's interesting. Uh, let's do 32, 32. Let's put these everywhere. Um, player, or actually he needs movement first, huh? It's behaviors. Uh, eight direction. player on collision with coin set speed to self dot a direction dot speed minus 10 let's just see how that feels a one line prototype let's see A thief that steals from a museum or something and he gets slower as he's collecting relics. Alright. Oh, we don't destroy the thingies. And this needs to be rotated. And destroy the coin. Alright. Do 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 walking around getting coins are you slower there should be a button to like drop coins to get faster that's not that's not slow down enough I don't think I like I like that concept though let's say my third that's probably too much because how much is the speed Oh, we gotta decrease max speed. That's what we're doing. Dot max speed. If it's two hundred, then like what? Like maybe, yeah, probably five is good then. Let's try that. This is basically Agario without getting bigger. Slowing down. Yeah, I don't really feel the slowdown. And I think the slowdown probably makes it less fun. So maybe we should abandon this idea. Or at least put it off. The slowdown does I don't really feel an impact. Let's increase it just to make sure. I feel like slowing down. Or let's do um let's actually add a key real quick. Uh keyboard. On key pressed uh, space uh, spawn coin coin uh, layer of sure and then uh, set the max speed to plus so you can drop coins to go back up. Slowing down isn't fun. It makes sense, but it isn't fun. Yeah, I agree. That's that's kind of what I'm feeling. It just doesn't seem like a fun mechanic. So slowing down, I don't think should be the the thing. And I'm dropping the coin, but I'm instantly I'm instantly collecting it. So that's a bug. 
Doesn't the worse it gets mean less fun? I don't think it has to. I don't think it has to, so I don't think we should make the game less fun, but maybe we should make it harder or more scary or something. Um, make it go fast for two seconds after it eats a coin. Now, I'm going to abandon this idea. I don't like this idea, to be honest. Um, I don't like how it feels. It just it makes the game less fun, I think. And, unless it was like a horror game where, like, I don't know. Collectibles are debuffs and score is based on how many debuffs you have. That's kind of interesting. Which make it challenging, but uh, still fair. Well, that's hard to do. We got to figure out an idea first. More hammer you have, the slower you go. Use money in the game, and the more you have, the more thieves will try and attack and kill you. This could be an interesting idea. What if the character picks up power ups that buff him so hard it gets in the way? I'm joining in on Ludum Dare, going to make a strategy game, and got time to learn a web based engine. What about a top down shooter sure, where the longer you stay alive, you have the darker it gets? Well, the theme, the theme is the more you have, the worse it gets. So, would you mind check the unfinished alpha version of my game called Tap React on Play Store? Uh, I can't do it right now, man. But if you want to hang out. Um, at the end of the weekend or something, I'll, I'll be playing everybody's games. Collect gas cans for the vehicles while monsters are closing in. What was the theme again? The more you have, the worse it is. I'm thinking more at getting out of the prison by gathering money somehow. Bribe the guards to get out of there, but in the process, with more money you have, more prisoners will try and kill you and take your money. So the goal would be to gather more but that would also make it harder for you or something along those lines. That's interesting, Mike. Mike, are you joining Ludum Dare? I, for some reason, I thought you were joining. Are you not? Is this your idea or are you giving me ideas? Because if it's your idea, I won't take it. But if you're giving them away, that could be an interesting prototype. Can be a game about avoiding sunlight because it burns you, like Riddick. I love Riddick. Riddick is my favorite TV show or favorite movie of all time. I love Pitch Black. And Chronicles of Riddick is probably my favorite. What about a puzzle game? You getting ideas for puzzle? I'm giving it away for now. Still not deciding to join. Oh, okay. So you're thinking like more simulation type of. What does the core game loop look like? Um, cholesterol game, you play in an artery where you have to break up the cholesterol on the side of the artery walls. Black builds the more you have to eventually get a heart attack. That's hilarious. All right. Um, let's, let's prototype this. Let's go like you're in a prison yard Let's pretend that you're in a prison yard, okay? Insert new objects, sprite. Oops, not a sprite. We'll save you for later, because I don't know what I did. That's you. Insert new object, tile background. Um, 256 by 256, sure. Let's do like a prison yard. Uh, brown, darker, uh, all right, sure, this is a prison yard, people, okay, it's not a skin infected with, like, smallpox or something, Z order, send a bottom, all right, 
It's the prison yard. That is really hard to look at. Why is it so hard to look at? That is really, I don't know why. Maybe it's the character color. Let's change him to white or like a, a brighter. All right. So you're, you're like, you're in a prison yard. Let's say you got to go like shank people to get money, right? But the more money you have, the more people attack you. How about a game that's meant to break the game? The more you can achieve, the worse your FPS gets. And the goal is to try and crack that. <laughs> Starkium, that sounds that, that sounds like a bad experience, man. Alright. Let's do this. Let's let's have him let's go down to 128 for him. Um let's do uh This is a bad guy. 64 64 This is a bad guy, right? Um Yo, there's no commentary on color here, okay? I'm gonna actually make him I just noticed that. That looks that's that wasn't my intention. We'll we'll make him he's a white guy, okay? There we go. Alright. He's he's a dude, you gotta go up to him and then Um why is he making the bad guy brown the good guy? I knew somebody was gonna call that out. That's why I changed that. I fucking the internet, man. The internet. Okay. Um. So let's say there's a bad guy. You gotta go up to him and beat him. Beat him up. Like. So let's just let's actually insert a camera object. Um. Six four by six four. Make it black. Just do a little C for camera. We'll call it camera. Place it here. We'll add a behavior and it'll be a scroll to. And that way, okay, so then on space key pressed. Uh, is um, how do we how would we select range? You can make everyone yellow for no racism. Someone's gonna call you out on something, okay? Especially when you're live streaming your shit, like something is gonna offend somebody. I'm used to that by now. I have people offended all kinds of shit. One guy said my double chin offended him. I'm sorry, sir. I'm sorry that my double chin offended you. You're going to have a hard time in life, though. I can tell you that. Okay, so how do we... Why don't we create, like, another sprite? Like a hitbox sprite? We'll call it hitbox. What is he using to make his game? Wilhelm, if you type exclamation point engine, you will be linked... To that beautiful piece of software. Um, let's do 64, 32. Uh, we'll make this like yellow. Hi, people. How's it going? The creative process. It is going slow. It is going slow, but I'm I'm liking it so far. Let's make it. Let's make it bigger. Let's let's go 96. It's going slow. Daniel, how are you? The engine Tim uses for his game is Construct 2, not to be confused with Construct 3, which is a massive dookie bag of disappointment. Uh, Z order, send a top. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll add a pin behavior on this. Behavior. Pin. Show me how Tim makes dough. <laughs> 
I start with the flower. Hitbox. I will say player hitbox. Uh, and then start of layout. Set player hitbox to player. And then we pin it to player as well. Pin object, player, position, and angle. Uh, and then on space pressed, hitbox is overlapping enemy. Uh, we'll call it screen shake. Shake. Uh, and then we need to add enemy health. But actually, I'm going to do that in a family. So I'm going to add a family. Uh, add this guy to a family enemy uh, and then enemy instance variables are going to be health so it's going to be zero his health is going to be three so then we'll say uh, sub subtract from what the fuck you mean oh we got to do enemy don't we is overlapping enemy enemy sub subtract from health one and then if enemy health is e is less than or equal to zero destroy uh, and camera we're gonna have uh, money yeah, we'll just call it we'll just call it money. And we'll add one uh, add to money one. Alright, and then we'll just add a text bus object to keep uh, track of the money. Uh, which we'll just say money zero make it white. No racial implications there on the text color, just so you guys know. Money, zero, uh, and then we're also going to need a function. Insert new object function. Guys, I did it. I made dough. Good job. Good job. Now just pop in the oven, finish my homemade bread. Yo, if you can make banana bread, I will come over to your house. This is a distracting sentence. Nope, not gonna, not gonna continue reading. You didn't, you didn't get me. You didn't do it. Funny not how no one is talking about the game. Chat's always like that. There's always conversations going on. They're not really here for my game. Uh, update. Stat. Um, B compare two values uh, function dot param zero is equal to money that's the stat we're going to be updating um, add to oops we got to do a camera camera all right, we'll just do this. Add one to money, and then set text. Set text to money and camera dot money. Boom. Uh, shit. Yeah, parameter two. So add function dot param. Uh, one is one and zero yeah so so then if health then we'll just call a function call function uh, update stat add parameter money add parameter one okay so when we when we beat this guy up we should get one money uh, this is harder than I imagined it would be to beat someone up two three we got one money we beat this motherfucker up all right 
Mo Money Mo Problems. That could be the name of the game. Tim Specs, Tim Age. You got you guys are trying to create Nightbot commands. If there is a command that you guys want, I'll I'll add it though. Uh, okay, so it looks like his giant tongue there. Okay, I'm not liking this. What the fuck is this? This movement control is crazy. It's crazy, crazy, crazy. For, let's do 45 degrees. Yeah. Yeah, okay. That's less fun to look at, but I feel like it makes the game better. How do you... What the fuck? This movement thing is so weird. We may have to do custom movement. Damn it, I'm late. Not by much, Sam. Not by much. We're only 27 minutes in. Bitcoin. I made a ton of money off of Bitcoin. I did not expect it to go this high. Makes me regret though because I fucking I could have made so much more. I seriously didn't expect it to go past four or five grand. It's insane. I sold a lot of my Bitcoin at five K and I'm kind of upset. Even though like I bought in around fifteen hundred. Uh, I made a ton of money, but it was just like, damn, I eleven thousand dollars. Jesus Christ! I have twenty bitcoins on a flash drive that's lost somewhere in my house. Better start cleaning your house, Jonathan. What's going on? Hit you, hit you, boom! We got one money. Wow, that's not <laughs> that's a big golden slog. A few chase prison newbies and stick it to them. I just noticed that. We're walking around the prison inmates and sticking our fucking yellow dick and fucking hitting space. Oh my god, we have to change this. That was never supposed to be visible, first of all. It was supposed to be invisible. It was supposed to be the hitbox. So you walk around like this and you don't actually hit someone else. Unless they're in your hitbox. It's not that kind of game, okay? I know we're in prison here, but... I hope this program is for testing only. No, this is the final game, dude. What are you talking about? I've been working hard on this. You don't think this is a good game? What the fuck? I don't appreciate that kind of attitude, man. I worked really hard on this. And if you don't think this is a good game, like, why are you here? Um, okay. You gotta hit them from behind. <laughs> the dick is hiding now. <laughs> I hit I hit the dick, okay. <laughs> Imagine how fuck the game would be if you literally have to go behind the fucking the the inmates. Mike, what is that that you sent? I can't it doesn't show up. I'm I'm not looking at Twitch chat, maybe that's why. Oh my god. Oh, it's just I have a smiley face. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Um I'm I like this. Let's let's kind of set up the idea a little bit more though. Let's um Let's okay. Let's make the map bigger. Let's go 5000 by 5000. I was just laughing. Prison rape simulator. Yo, right now with all the crazy shit going down with sexual harassment, it is not the time to be making prison rape simulator. I will get I will get destroyed on Twitter. I will get destroyed. My career will be over. Um all right, and we're, uh, we're gonna set up. Uh, this is not gonna be visible. Invisible. All right, we're gonna start setting up our layout. Cause I, I like this idea actually. I'm gonna go with this. So, 
uh, we're going to say with BG1, BG2, uh, below. I like to set up all my layers like this, by the way. Uh, for any game that I make, below player, above player. I did not spell it right. Oh. I like to have multiple backgrounds and then a, a below player and above player and then a player um, player layer and then I like to have GUI and then like a, a HUD HUD and GUI and then the HUD I like to turn parallax to zero 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 because then you can do you can just keep this stuff there and it'll automatically show up and it won't move which is kind of cool the game could go viral if kevin spacey ever goes to jail oh my god you guys are fucked up you get kevin spacey prison rape simulator <laughs> jesus christ oh okay every tick Oh, what is wrong with you people? <laughs> Set position to self, or let's go lerp, self.x, player.x, 0 0.1. <laughs> what about a game about paying for debt, and the more debt you owe, the better you are? No, that game is fucked, man. We should make a, we should make a, a, a college simulator where the more debt you acquire, the worse off you are. It'll make millions or ruin your career. Not sure which. I don't really have a career, but to be honest, I'm kind of liking this whole YouTube streaming thing, making video games. So, I'm not ready for it to end just yet all right so now we got the camera that kind of follows us around a little bit we can kind of explore the prison uh, we're gonna scale outer actually so that that fits scale outer yeah scale outer because it's not really that big of a deal and then we'll put this on the GUI layer or the HUD layer and HUD has zero parallax, so that should show our money. It does. Perfect. College sim, you have to balance education and debt. That'll just make me depressed, man, because I, I, I don't know how many of you guys watch my college video on YouTube, but I spent like 50K in, in student loan debt, and I had to drop out three and a half years in. Question is how you gain money because it would be interesting to gain them by fighting or something, not just pick them up. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. You fight, you fight the the dudes. You, you can you can shank these fucking prison guards or the prison people with your invisible schlong that you can't see. So I go up to them. I go up to them and then I hit them. They have three health, so I hit them three times. And then they die and I get one money. One money. That's how much I get. One money. Why is there only one there? I thought I put way more there. I only get one money. What the fuck? One money. No video games? What do you mean? Let's make this smaller. I'm going to make all this smaller. Uh, and this, the schlong needs to be bigger, actually. It needs to be like, yeah. We're going to make it visible again because I need to see it. But let's not make any, okay, that is a, okay. Why did they disappear? Where, where the fuck are they? 
This is becoming GTA Ludum Dare. Make it so that you can try to escape, but the guards will shoot you. So once they have enough money, you have to pay off the guards and then successfully escape to win. Okay, I don't know why these guys keep a Magnum Dong. Okay, it's bigger than him. How can that be his dick? Classic cup and call ball bet guessing game. The more cups are, the harder it is. Figure out which cup it is. Where are these guys going? They're running from me and they don't even have a move behavior. Literally, they're not. It's a big square of cheese. I like that better, Daniel. Let's go with cheese. That's that's what it is. Da it's it's cheese, guys. Okay, uh, make this invisible. What on earth is this game? That's the name of it, Jay. The name of the game is What on Earth is this game? How do I keep getting to the fucking edge of the map? Where the fuck did the people go? Why are they disappearing? Did I delete the, the... What? What the fuck happened to the people? That's why I kept trying. every, t And then they're gone. So like... What the... F are they... What? Did I scale them to... What did I do? I don't know what I did, but okay. I was wondering where the hell they were. Okay, now we got our little people. You killed the mog. Uh, uh, uh. I got one money. Why is there only one though? What the fuck is wrong with this game? How do we have a bug with like five lines of code? Okay, there's. You see them above us, right? You see them right there. We're gonna go straight up. Why is there only one? fuck is wrong with this game whatever <sighs> oblivion or skyrim yo we need to descope from that i'm sorry oh uh, okay record the sound you made now and use it in the game Fucking games hate me, man. No, this is before I destroy it. Look, it doesn't even... They just all destroy. They, sh they should be right... Look, I'm even going to move him up there. So he's right next to the people. And they're gone. Every time. And there's no... There's no code... That would kill anything that's so fucking weird but whatever dude this is just like skyrim yeah we're making skyrim too all right let's let's set up the like goat simulator or the legend of zelda okay so let's here's what i'm thinking so let's add in a tile map Um, a tile map. Oops. You did not see that. You, you did not. We're going to make it black. Which means nothing, people. Just because I made it black, it means nothing. All right, we're going to put all these guys on the player layer. This is going to go on the player layer, too. This is going to go on BG1. Okay. This is going to go player layer. All right. All right, let's see. So let's, let's draw... So I'm thinking like cells, right? So this is just us prototyping. We're just going to mess around. There's going to be like like individual cells for like the inmates, right? Something like this. 
And you can go and you can collect stuff or you can harass inmates or whatever. Like these little guys will be in their cells just chilling. Chilling like a villain. And you can go in and fuck with them. Like A. Hey. Ayo. Hey, Ayo. Hey, uh, uh, uh. And you took their money. Now you got one money. But you need like you need like ten money to like pay off a guard to escape the prison. So like let's go solid. And this behavior interacts with solid, right? I hope so. Let's see. Oh, yeah. So you can't go through walls now. Okay. That works. Uh, all right. Currency needs to be cigarettes. I think there should be multiple levels of currency. And whatever you get, uh, sh some other shit goes wrong. Like, if you got more money, then, like, maybe the people fuck with you more. If you got more cigarettes, then, like, maybe the guards harass you more. Okay, so like, first of all, there should be two enemy types. There's other inmates and there's other guards, right? So like, let's let's make like a, a makeshift guard real quick. In, um, actually, I'm gonna create a new layer because this is driving me crazy. I'm gonna call it map, and we're gonna lock it. But the tile map goes on map layer. Because it's got to stay locked. That is like escapists. I've never played escapists. Are we making another game, guys? Are we making like... Are we making a game that I've never played? Tattoos give you more intimidation. So yeah, maybe you can buy stuff. But like the more, the more you have, the worse it is. And prison architect. Okay. Um, so we're creating another object. We're going to do sprite. It's going to be 128 by 128. Uh, this one's going to be wearing blue pants. He's going to be... I don't fucking know. Uh, gray. And he's going to have like a... A blue hat, I guess. Probably putting way too much work into this. With like a yellow symbol. And we'll do like a. Those are the, those are the prison guards. Unlock the map layer. Put these on player layer. Oops, lock the map layer. Make him 64 by 64. All right. Any Star Citizen fans here? I haven't played Star Citizen, but I've been hearing a lot about it. I've seen a lot. That's sure. Uh, guard. Other inmates. The gameplay seems very similar right now. How? We don't have anything. The art is exactly like Escapist. What are you guys talking about? Escape? I don't... What is this? Oh shit, we're making that game, aren't we? We will escape. Wow. This game looks crazy. What if you smuggle drugs or something to other cells? The more you have, the harder it is to get past the guards without them seeing. Hmm. Let's beat this guy up just to make sure. 
All right, get the fuck out of here. Go, go beat the guard up. I'm gonna add him to the enemy family. Inmate. Escape it says much bigger scope and it's not focused on money. <clears throat> so what would be the objective of this? What would be the objective? To escape, right? That's the objective? Or it should, should just be to acquire the most money? Because if it's acquired the most money, it doesn't have to be in a prison. We can change the theme. We can change it to like... Um... I don't know. I <laughs> something, but we gotta figure out the objective of the game. Cause any game that I start without an objective, it gets fucking crazy. We did that with Last Ludum Dare. We ended up with a tank game, and that thing was bribe the guard. No, like how do you win? That's something you could do, but how do you win? By you, how are we going to make it different than escapists and prison architects? I'm not really, like, I, I really don't mind if we make it different from everything. I just want to make it, like, like, if it's like something else, but it has a unique feel to it, I'm totally cool with that. Um, I'm not going to have a whole lot of time to do art, so we can't do something that's really art-heavy either. either. Uh, <sighs> oh. Maybe we should stick to a mobile game, to be honest. Because, like, I don't want to overscope. I always overscope. I don't know. What are you guys thinking? What should be the objective? To get out of the prison? So what if, okay, so what if there are different layers to it? Let, let, let's say, I'll show you guys my thoughts. So let's say this is this is the prison, right? Or it could be whatever. Like we can retheme it later. If we, if we need to retheme it, we can. That's totally cool. You guys demotivated him by bringing those games to attention? No, not really. I'm just trying to think how we can make it. Like I'm trying to think of the objective. So what if. What if there are like three doors, right? Like red, green, blue, or something like that. Like three doors. And then there's the outside. Sure. Outside. But you need... You need the red, green, blue, and key cards to get out. But randomly they end up in different places. One could be in the shop... One could be in an inmate. One could be. So let's say like every time you kill an inmate. More guards spawn. Every time you get kill an inmate, you get money. Let's let's write this down. So we got this. Kill an inmate. Get money but a guard spawns so you trade you trade the inmate for the guard you trade the inmate for the for the guard but you can spend the money or you can trade with other inmates Or like, how do you get the key? so? If, let's say if there's three key cards to get out. I don't even know. I'm gonna need your help, peeps, because uh, let's say three key cards to get out, three doors. Um, you kill an inmate, you get money, but more guards spawn. So there's always got to be like a trade-off, right? Like. I think I get the least amount of time to make a game. You all spend 
hours and I get only four hours to make the game. My name is Mysterious Time Management. <laughs> yeah, I don't know how you only spend four hours. What do you mean the least time? You get the same amount of time as everyone else, though. Just for fun, why don't you say it's a prison in Guatemala? Sure, it's a prison in Guatemala. Hello, everybody. Glad to see people doing what I love most, building games. Well, welcome, TT. We all love building games here. Collect money to bribe guards, but the more money you have, the more other inmates target you. Yeah, there's got to be a trade-off like that. So, collect. I like that, uh, Ben. Collect money to bribe guards, but why do you need to bribe guards? Kill an inmate, you get money, but you guard spawns. Bribe a guard. What happens when you bribe a guard? We need to like figure out the, the design of this to get the keys to get out. So I'm thinking there's going to be like three phases of doors, like a red key card, a green key card, and a blue key card or something. And there's like, you need each one to get through each door. And then if you get all three doors, you get outside and you win. I just found a site that lets you browse through all the loot and dare games ever created. That's a cool site. We need to we need to do we need to we need to start with the objective. So the objective is to get outside. Right? Objective escape the prison. How do you do that? Collect three key cards. How do you do that? Uh, is it all money? Or let's say maybe one's based on money, one's based on like cigarettes. One's based on like maybe you need certain currency to get each one, or is it random? Or how how do we? Under action of guard. Let's say the guards are patrolling. Can you change the theme to an electricity company where the bigger the company that you have, the more money you have? But the more pet mad people you have to deal with to keep your company. Yeah, we totally could change the theme. We just gotta change like the how it works. Personate a guard by killing them first and then use their key card to get out. One key guard, two key random prisoner, three. So in, in the spirit of Ludum Dare too, like I would like to make a game that can be Generally, we, we create the whole game, and it can be played multiple times, almost like a roguelike. Like, you play through it, and then you play through it again, and it's a little bit different, but you can still have fun playing through it. I would like to create that kind of game in an ideal world. Uh, so I wouldn't want to just design an experience. I want to design something that we can make a little bit random or change it up a little bit. Um, what's my favorite number? Talk to inmates and either they say leave me alone or what's my favorite number and three numbers to choose answer is random Random answer gives key they tell you right but they can't help Jay that's interesting like if you get the right answer but I don't think it should be random because then like it's just a guess I feel like that would be that's not really fair to the player Add microtransactions in the form of loot boxes that randomly give you weapons or key cards. For a sense of accomplishment for players. Right? We need we need loot boxes, definitely. Okay, your objective is to escape the prison. You collect three key cards. Uh, and then how you do that. Let's say the guards patrol. Okay, let's just say the guards patrol. Let's say the guards just walk around, and if they catch you doing anything bad, they beat you and they take your money. Or 
Or what if you just what if it just restarts the game? So like let's say this is the prison. Let's just finish this out so we kind of get an idea of what we're what we're doing. I'm really bad at drawing straight lines. I'm really bad at that. Those are the cells. Uh, boom. Uh, okay. We're gonna we're gonna clean this all up later, but for right now. <clears throat> all right, so this is our little play area. Um It could be on a paper in an office that is different every time you play. Your mouse is not working. Extrone, that sucks, man. It's almost as bad as your keyboard not working, which my keyboard shut off the other day. That was not fun. Shit says press any key and then you can't press any key. All right, so let's put little dudes in their shits uh, uh, and random. We got a couple over here. Uh, we'll add a behavior. We'll say pathfinding. And what is the cell size on the map? It's 32. So let's say the cell size on the pathfinding 30. That's fine. We'll create little waypoints. We'll insert object uh, sprite uh, 32, 32. Uh, this will be. These are waypoints. Put these on the low player. Lock map. And then we'll just we'll create we'll put these in the corner. They're invisible by default. Put them by default in the corner. And then the guard will randomly patrol between them. So on starter layout, enemy guard, find path, or actually we gotta go uh, pick random instance of waypoint, enemy guard, find path to x dot y all right um let me rename that real quick tile background what the fuck are you doing did i put all those on the map layer i did didn't i low player okay and then we'll name this uh, enemy waypoint guard should guard the escape well it's gonna be locked game could be smuggling drugs over the border you can make X amount by the end of the month each run you do guard check through compartments of your truck so the more drugs the greater this that's interesting. That's an interesting concept. Um, 
add group uh, guard AI B guard on path found move along path and then uh, enemy guard on collision Enemy waypoint. How would we do this? What he does in five minutes would take me four hours. No. I mean, you just gotta, you gotta practice all right so he goes to this first waypoint um, he goes to this first waypoint we got to figure out how to keep him patrolling I just uploaded my game for sale congrats dude was it the one I played uh, the other day how do we pick one that's not it's not that can we pick Pick nearest furthest. Not sure if you want to join Ludum Dare. Why not? You should. If you do, I'll play your game on video. Upgrade the game to infinite mode and control support. That's perfect, dude. That game was. I feel like it needed infinite mode because it was practically that's what I thought it was at first because it was just like playing through and then more shit happened let's pick furthest let's pick furthest of enemy guard dot x enemy guard dot y or actually, what if we just pick random? We could just pick random. Why didn't I think of that? Well, first we have to pick all because Construct 2 isn't like when you pick one, but then you don't. Then you try and pick them in there and then pick random. Uh, find path. All right. So he goes to his little path. He's not colliding with the path, right? So yeah, we'll move him away. He goes to the path. Now he's gonna pick random. But it's gotta be random that's not the current one. Uh, so we'll do we'll do a uh... thanks Sam I'll go play in the Ludum Dare game sweet dude I want to see it make sure you stop in at the end and I'll 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 play it for sure uh, repeat repeat until or while wait. How do we for how does that work while what engine is that um, it's construct 2 oh, we just add another condition um, Compare two values. Uh, enemy waypoint dot UID is not equal to or is equal to. So we're going to add a local variable here. Um, 
current waypoint. So we're going to add the UID of the current waypoint. On collision with enemy waypoint, we're going to set that value. I set that value to uh, enemy waypoint dot UID. And then we're, while Pick a random instance and then while it equals current waypoint. Repeat it while it equals it and then and then as soon as it's not you find the waypoint. So that should work. That should be a loop. Okay, so he goes to this point, let's follow him. My head's in the way, but oh I just I crashed the game. Uh oh, because that loop's gonna repeat forever, huh? I don't get how this while works. I'm not pretty sure I'm using it wrong. A dark nightbot. What did nightbot do? Are you going to make more games today? Absolutely, I'm going to make more games. What did Nightbot do? Nightbot's, as far as I know, Nightbot's not allowed to ban people. He shouldn't be. At least I don't think he is. But you might want to behave just in case. Alright, so we're trying to make it to where he picks a random waypoint that is not his current waypoint. Is there a repeat until command? Number of times repeat uh, while repeat so long as the rest of the conditions are true. Okay. Oh, that's what I did wrong. Hold on. Wait, on collision with current waypoint. Repeat it. Will you be using a different game engine or next game or the same? No, I like this engine. Pick a random instance. Enemy waypoint dot UID Why is that that's so weird? It's going to this one this time. And then it crashes. It done crashes. Alright, let me see if there's an alternative to do this. Uh is there pick? Pick top, bottom, pick by evaluate. Oh, we could do that. Hold on. Choose object. Enter an expression reference. If non zero, the instance will be picked. Okay, so. Enemy waypoint dot uid we need to set the current waypoints in a while no because that's that's the waypoint that he's at so that should be outside the loop because that's the one you're at and then I'm comparing it to a random one and I, I only want the random one to not be equal to the first one and only when he finds one that's not equal that's when he goes to it. So I just think the, um, the while command, 
I don't think it works with the random instance, so I think that's what's causing it. So I'm going to do it a different way. Um, enemy waypoint dot UID. Yes, but you want the the current. I do update the current waypoint to the new one. This is the new one every time. And th and then I'm comparing it to a random one over and over. So the random at some point should not equal the current one because I, I, I grab a random one. So the random UID at some point should not equal this. And then we go to here and then the loop ends. Uh, okay, so under expression representing chosen object, non-zero the instance will be picked. Minus. So the only way this equals zero And then we'll pick a random instance of that. Okay. So that should work. Follow him. Goes there. On collision with waypoint. Set current waypoint. Pick. So the only way this should equal zero is if it's the current, if it's the same waypoint. Because the UID would be like 20, so it'd be 20 minus 20, and that would be zero. What if I move this here? Let's just see if that works. I think you should update Ocean Raiders to allow you to steer the boat while you shoot. It feels clunky and only being able to do it one at a time. What do you mean? You can do it. Is it not multi-touch? I haven't tested that. If equal to old waypoint, then choose a new random waypoint. Yeah, that's, that's what I was thinking. That's what this code was supposed to do, but I think I'm misunderstanding how the while code, how the while uh, command works. Maybe Maybe I can't get the... The UID in the same instance of it. I'm not sure. If it's not multi-touch, I'll update it at some point. Okay, on collision with enemy waypoint, we save the UID of the current one. Okay, so hold on. So let me just do this. Pick all. That enemy guard overlapping waypoint. We try it this way. Is not overlapping. And then pick a random instance in there. That should do it. Oops. That should cover it. Hopefully. Whoa, I have a lot of... Oh, shit. Alright, let's see. Let's go into web point. Waypoint. He's a lazy-ass guard. I'm going to beat him up. Beat you up, you fucking guard. I think what's causing this is it's picking the certain waypoint, and then you can't set it because I've run into this issue before. So what we're gonna do is, um, we're gonna add a timer behavior to the enemy.
uh, just to separate it out. So on collision with waypoint, we're gonna start timer. One second. Uh, move guard. And then on move guard, on timer, move guard. We're gonna pick random instance that you are not overlapping and find a path to it. That should work, because then it's completely separate from the first piece of code. Okay, so he's going one. He's going one. He's going to wait a second. Okay, we did it. We did it. Now he's going to go back to one. We done did it. All right, now he's going to go to a random one again. Or he changed his mind this time. He's just going to fucking sit there. What the fuck? Alright, let's delete all this code. All this bullshit code. Your Discord link is broken. It said it has expired. I'll get you one. I'll get you a Discord link. I made a project with some code and chooses a random set of numbers and makes it go only certain numbers. Cool if I could change that code so I would apply to this. Well, we got our code here. Okay, so we got the random guard patrolling. And so now I'm going to make it to where if... If you kill somebody and his distance is less than... I don't know, let's say like two or 300 pixels... Um, he comes and he finds you. So let's say, um, enemy guard. Uh, compared to values distance player dot x player dot y enemy guard dot x enemy guard dot y is less than 300 Enemy guard. Or actually, they should leave dead bodies, right? So maybe not even when you kill somebody, but if he if he comes in contact with a dead body, so um, rather than destroy, we set their animation dead. So we'll add animation, call it dead. Ooh, we'll delete this. Duplicate dead. And then dead, we'll just do like a, for now, sad face. That's the dead one. And we'll set the animation to dead, and then um, we'll also put a boolean is dead. Boolean starts out as false, but then set boolean is dead to true. Okay, so then if a guard. Or we'll do we'll do for each guard. For each guard. 
compare two values distance uh, enemy guard dot x enemy guard dot y enemy dot x enemy dot y is less than 200 and enemy is dead true set path find path to player x player dot y all right so he should just go to now he doesn't do anything crazy so he's just do -do 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 -do. let's kill this guy all right we killed these guys eventually he's going to cross and let's see if he comes to us okay he's going there he's going there Python and drag and drop my best known languages. Is drag and drop a language? All right, where are you at, Popo? All right. No, he didn't do it. All right, we gotta move an enemy. To make sure we nail this, we should move one. And we'll kill them all. And we'll see. Oh. Kill him. No, what the fuck? Uh, he's not working. Yeah, he's not working. Um, for each guard, is 200 too small? Twenty one thirty eight. No, that's about right. We can make it 300 just to make sure. 300 just to mess with it. Um, we'll do every tick, or let's do every 0 0.5 seconds, just so we reduce CPU, because it doesn't need to be every tick. Um, is there a stop path button? Maybe that's what... Uh, Stop. Maybe that'll do it. All right, let's see. Kill him. Are you a web dev? He went right over it. He went right over it. Um, you have 10 years of experience with it. With what? I've oh no he did do it he did do it okay but he waited till he went to his waypoint why would he wait till he went to his waypoint I told him to stop um, I know a lot of web technologies I do a lot of web I've done a lot of web development um, I don't do a whole lot anymore but um, I was involved with a lot of startups, a lot of tech companies, a lot of um, web startups and web applications and stuff. So that's primarily where my programming was. Yeah, I think you're talking to Mike, but I'm from Twitch and it's forwarded by Tim's account. Yeah, I think that was confusing. Okay, um, uh,
go with this for now. Placeholder graphics. Image size. I'll save that as JPEG. Let's do PNGs actually. Um, this will be in Dropbox projects source in progress new folder LD40. New folder assets. Too many S's. Uh, floor. Top PNG. All right. Let's see. All right, that looks horrible. So that somehow looks even worse than what we had, but whatever. GDU.io, that's the site. My first passion was game dev, but then I got into web dev. Now I'm returning to the roots, but I want to do it the hard way, C++ and OpenGL. Why do you want to do things the hard way? That doesn't make sense to me. It does not make sense. Okay. Let's reduce the, the lerp a little bit. Just to make it a little more interesting. A little bit softer. Hey Tim, how are you liking that C2? I'm doing laundry at the laundromat, so I have a bad connection just dropping in. Dana, what's going on? I love Construct 2, man. That's my go-to It's my go-to software. Welcome to the stream, dude. I don't think I've seen you in here yet. We're making a prison game. Where the more people you beat up, the more money you get, the more money you get, the harder life gets. Okay, um, so we're going to beat him up. We're going to beat him up. All right, he's going to see that dead body, and he's going to come for me. Oh, shit. Okay, so he goes to your position. He doesn't actually... Okay, so let's... We're going to create a variable called... Um, uh, actually, we'll, we'll create it on player. Um, is being chased I don't know boolean okay and then uh, if you see him then the player variable goes to set boolean is being chased true and then every 0 0.5 seconds is being chased Alright, so you'll constantly he'll constantly chase you. Mo money, mo problems. Did you try Unity for making games? I I did. I haven't used it in the last couple of years though. Uh two or three years ago when I downloaded Unity and everything, when I got back into game development, I was like, download Unity, Game Salad Construct, all the all the stuff. All the stuff. And um I followed I had to follow six hours of tutorials in unity to get a platformer going construct 2 took me like 20 30 minutes and i've been in love ever since mo money mo problems was the uh that's the working title actually 
Okay, he's not going to multiple waypoints. I don't know why. What if you do this? When the level starts, have all the prisoners in the cells, and you start in the middle trying to beat the guards in order to gain more money. I'm still working on this part. Each guard that you manage to beat, you get more money, but a new cell bar is open until more prisoners come out to kill you before you can take on the next guard. Hmm. That's interesting. I think... I. So right now, the way that this works... So you need three key cards to escape. That's your objective, to escape the prison. Um, you have to bribe... We'll put in like a... I don't, I'm thinking like a store... Like a black market guy. Let's say a store, a smuggler. Let's, if there's three key cards, let's say there's a series of like, I don't know, five or six places where you can... Where you can get the key cards from. But each one wants a different thing. And the more the thing you have, the more it causes something. So the different currency might be money, cigarettes, drugs, whatever. The more drugs you have, maybe the more inmates attack you. Uh, the more cigarettes you have, maybe, I don't know, uh, some kind of effect on your speed or your turning or something. Because um, that's the theme. The theme is the more you have the worse it is so whatever you have the more of it the worse it gets um i gotta figure out why he is not he's not moving after that um we need to do actually make or block and then enemy guard on failed to find path. So this will keep this cycle going. Okay. Boom. Boom. All right, let's kill this guy. Oh shit, oh shit, he found me. Oh Jesus, oh he's faster than me too. Oh shit, oh shit. Oh shit, he doesn't give a fuck. He's. Oh fuck. Oh fuck. Oh fuck. Oh fuck. Oh fuck. Alright, so maybe maybe there should be like. Okay, so I don't know what he's doing to me right now, but he is like. Okay. Okay. We are getting. Okay. He is having our his way with us. What do you mean by beat the guards, Mike? In order to obtain those key cards, you can beat the guards. Maybe it's more interesting to have a bunch of guards sitting around and you should try and guess which ones are holding the key cards and start a fight with those. But how how is that following the theme? Like the more you have, the worse it gets. The smuggler can have like a high quality item that keeps in his hat, but low quality items that he pulls out of his butt. <laughs> oh well, I think a smuggler would have all of his items in his butt. But that's that's interesting. You gotta pick one. Do you want what's in my hat or what's in my ass? Crypto Mike. Who's Crypto Mike that got warned by Nightbot? Nightbot, you're so uptight, Jesus. What the fuck? Cavity search mini game? No. Oh my god. You gotta like you gotta control the hand and like oh no, that's horrible. Alright. So he's in chase mode now. He chases me down. Okay, so 
right now, the way that we have is if a guard sees you kill somebody, or they they go over a dead body. Then he'll chase the shit out of me. So right now, he can't see any dead bodies. But he gets stuck over here. Beat him up. Because he... He's an asshole. Um, actually, enemy... Is not dead. And then the cop needs a... A dead animation. Duplicate. Put some blood around him. Sure. And this guy. Some blood. All right. What should you put in a game dev portfolio? Or you should put games in a game dev portfolio. That's what you should do. Oh, I, he found us. No, he didn't. No, he didn't. He walked right past the dead body, though. And now he's stuck here. All right, we killed him. So most of the time you'll pick on guards that have no keys on them, but by beating them, they'll drop money. But you don't want money, you want the three key cards because more money, you have more prisoners you attract that will try and kill you. So most of the time you pick on guards that have no keys on them, but by beating them, they'll drop money, but you don't want money. I just read that, didn't I? Okay. Um, haven't touched any code for over a month due to depression. I'm sorry, man. That sucks. Dana... That sucks, dude. I've been there. I know what that's like. Alright, um... Good luck to you. One monitor I'm making game, one monitor I'm watching you. Thank you, man. I appreciate it. Um, all right. Um, Mike, I'm trying to think. I think we should try it both ways because what I'm thinking is the. Because I don't really think thematically it makes sense for more inmates to come in, but it does make sense for more guards to come in. So I feel like. There's got to be like, let's say let's let's come up with three scenarios. So so let's say there's a cafeteria, a smuggler, a drug dealer. Let's say there's there's three dudes. Cafeteria it takes. Uh, It takes, I don't know, uh, honey buns. Okay. Smuggler, they take cigarettes. The drug dealer takes um, you should have feet moving back and forth under the characters. Yeah, none of this is the final art. I'm not going to go with this art. I'm going to I gotta do all that once we finish the game out, though takes drugs I don't know um, and then randomly the key card gets assigned to one of them um, 
pretty boy takes sexual favors. I don't know. I'm trying to think of like if we can think of like five or six of them. You are a true inspiration. Thank you. This is the concept and prototype. This is pretty much a prototype. Like, I'm not sure we got the concept down yet. Um, X cop takes money. Like, I'm just trying to list of like a bunch of different people that could be here, right? Let's say there's like all these different places, and then like the key cards get randomly assigned to like two or three places. And then you got to figure out where they're at and then get the appropriate currency so like for example or maybe cafeteria shouldn't take money maybe they should take something else but let's say from the cafeteria you can buy honey buns and you get money by I don't know selling drugs to the drug dealer you know what I mean um, We just have to figure out this whole economy. And then all while you're doing this, you can't get caught. Like if a, if something goes down in earshot of a cop, boom. If you kill a cop, what if you bribe people to tell you where they are? Yeah, that could be really interesting. And like we could just have a... have yeah no that I um that would be really cool I'm trying to think <sighs> oh. trying to think here um but Mike your idea if I understand it correctly is that rather than do something like this you you're thinking go to the you got there's gonna be a bunch of different guards and if you gotta like randomly pick a fight with a guard and then the guards might have the key cards if they do you get a key card if they don't like more guards come out or two guards come out the risk here is that you add to the scope you'll make it look too much like the escapist that's true. I think this is doable because this is all the same system. What is the main goal of the game? To escape from prison. And you do that by getting three key cards. Red, blue, green. Those are the three doors right there. Uh, but you got to get those cards in different, different ways. Yeah, because I'm not sure I want like this whole trading economy. Like, I'll trade you cigarettes for drugs or whatever. But And then also, like, you should be able to kill the people and take their shit. But there also needs to be a downside to killing the people. I guess if you kill the people and the, the, the guard sees it, then you just, you lose. But if you kill a guard, I don't know if you should be able to kill a guard. If you kill a guard, they send in two guards, I guess. But that, I don't know, that's kind of getting off theme though, isn't it? The more you have, the worse it gets. Unless we make it to where, like, the more of these things you actually have. Like, the more cigarettes you have. This, this is getting kind of complex in scope, to be honest. Um, uh, people look like it'd be used for a horror game. Ah, uh, guys, I'm at a loss. I don't know. Okay, focus on money and key cards. Okay. So let's let's do a super MVP then. Let's do you need money to get one key card to escape. Let's build that. 
Mike, how are you suggesting that you get the key cards? They st there should be more than one guard, and I randomly assign it to a guard. Is that what you're saying? Mm. Okay. We'll add a Boolean. Has key card. Oops. Wrong shit. That's not the player. Boolean. The theme is the more you have, the worse it gets. Maybe he's daydreaming of the player dreams, but you're enticed out of your cell. Money, people, drugs. That's yeah. We gotta we gotta start with the basic concept though, because I've Mike is right about that. Like I've totally done load of dares that have just ballooned out of proportion, and we need to start with a core game loop that's fun. Otherwise, we're we're kind of working in vain. Um. So you want key cards, but by beating the wrong guards, you'll get money, which will attract prisoners, attacks on them. I like this idea, but on the other hand, I agree that we should somehow use the concept of bribery. Yeah, because otherwise, I think you're just, you just you go around and you kill a bunch of people at random, and then you either die or you don't. So there needs to be trade-offs to your decisions, right? Like That's why I like if you kill an enemy and a guard sees it, then you lose. So killing an enemy... While it gives you money, is very risky to do. So you probably want to do it like in a cell behind walls or something, right? Um, I don't know. Um, real quick, let me make a quick change. Make the background color black. It's transparent. It's transparent. No. So now it looks like outside the map. It's like black, which is kind of cool. This adds a little effect. Randomly, should not be polishing at this point, but you should have just rolled with Convict Tim and the Golden Schlong symbol. <laughs> you gotta go behind people and just use your Schlong. Maybe your player has the ability to make Shanks a trade to get supplies by finding things around the prison. Maybe the guards that have money on them won't be interested in money, but the guards that hold the key cards will be interested in money, so you can lure them by dropping some dollars towards them. That's a way of trying to know which ones hold the key card. The the main thing though is like we we have two spectrums here, right? Like one is completely random that's just unfun. So like 
if one guard has the key card, but I have no idea which one, I have to do random actions until I figure it out, which is not really fun. The other side of the spectrum is uh, there's some kind of tell when a guard has the key card, which I show them that they have the key card, but then you know exactly which one has it, and if you could just walk up to them and get it, that's kind of... Uh, I think like if you know who has the key card if you know that this card has a key card then it's got to be that, that means the objective is clear but the how you complete that objective needs to be somewhat randomized like you need to um let's say you have drugs money and cigarettes and you have to like drop one and see which one he uses like you're talking about mike uh which one will attract him um and then if he goes for it then you can try and bribe him but if you bribe them and they don't take your bribe you get arrested just make them all have a key card but it makes sense that the guards have a key card that makes sense thematically But I don't know why they get stuck on these fucking waypoints. That drives me crazy. Here's my fortune cookie, Tim. To avoid criticism, do nothing, say nothing, be nothing. Thoughts? I can't decide if they mean not to strive to... Imp Prove or to expect resistance when succeeding. I think it means expect resistance when succeeding. Because for sure, like as a YouTuber and streamer, like there's been a couple times where I have an opinion and I'm like, maybe I just shouldn't express it because people are going to disagree with it. But then I'm like, I'm giving up who I am if I'm afraid of what people are going to say. Like, no, fuck it, I have an opinion. And for sure, I've, I've come up with a lot of resistance for voicing my opinions. And I think I continue to do so. I think especially as the channel grows. Um, for sure. Okay, so here's what I'm thinking. You can't just brute force your way to the guard. Um, first of all, let's, let's say this is your cell back here. Okay. So this is your cell. You start in your cell. Do you intend this to be a single scene game or would you consider having another one for some actual arena fights? Ideally, I would like this to be a randomized single scene game. So... I don't want to like design levels and stuff. I'd rather design a game that's randomized every time that you can play through it kind of like a roguelike over and over. If the guard rejects the bribe, you lose an item. That way it's a punishment but not a fail state. So, so you just can't brand it, br continually bribe him with random items? That's interesting. There should be some other kind of penalty though. Because otherwise you just grab an item, go to the guard, bribe, grab an item, go to the guard, bribe. Let's say like three rejected bribes. Um, so, like you, you lose or something. But I also don't want it to be like, let's say, let's just say one thing. 
bribes him, like... Oh, this is confusing. I feel like I should just start over on a really simple game, like a simple mobile game. Like a single mechanic one, like the ones I'm good at. Three rejected bribes and you get sent to solitary for dating this time. That's interesting. War spite, what's going on, dude? Oh, okay. Um, on pathfinding, failed to find path. Um, on arrived. Ben, that's too similar to the escapist. I've never played the escapist, so I don't know how we keep <laughs> ending up with a game that's just like it, because everyone keeps saying that. Okay, let's let's do this. Um Mike, let's take your, your basic idea. Let's make a basic prototype of that. Let's say oh this is not the player, this is the player. Let's say, okay, so you need you need to bribe the guard. Okay. Let's say space to bribe. Okay, so so you bribe him, but if you bribe him, you lose the item. But I don't want to make a whole like inventory management system either. So I don't want it to just be a bunch of random items. <sighs> the more you have, the worse it is. Guys, I am, I don't know. Let's go ahead and let's build that prototype. Why not? Let's do, um, okay. So space to drop a coin. On space pressed. No, it's not space. Let's do um, D. D, well, no. Let's do E. On key pressed. E. Spawn. Spawn coin. So it's money, right? So uh, layer player. Uh, and then actually we gotta make sure your money is greater than zero. Money is greater than zero. Spawn coin. Call function. Update stat negative one. Okay, let's make this all caps because mo money, mo problems. 
Um, okay, so the way I do this is right now, uh, I have to go, I have zero money at first. I have to go, oh shit, he's coming, okay. I'm gonna kill an inmate. I have one money now. So I go up to the guard, just drop some money, right? And if he goes for it, I know that I can bribe him. Prison manager game where the more prisoners you get, the harder it is to stop them from escaping. And they earn you money. Less monsters you have, the better things are. That's interesting. Okay. So, but this I, this is off theme though, I think. This is escaping from prison. So then he would go towards the money and then take it and then I know I can bribe him. And I just go up to him and press like E to bribe. Uh, I could just shit out money all day. Why does that not work? What the fuck? What is going on? Alright, I'm shitting out money all day, every day. Um, I have two money now. Alright, I'm... I like the idea of this game, but... Um, I'm about to just start over on something new. That would be a copy of Prison Architect. I don't, like I said, I don't mind if, if it's similar to another game. I'm not, I'm not worried about that. So let, the other alternative is like where you control the prisoners, where you manage the prisoners, you got to keep them happy. Like create a, like a cafeteria or something where you got to like build units. The more, the more prisoners you have... the lower the morale is but the more money you make so the more you have the more prisoners you have the worse it gets like overall in the prison but the more money you make and the more money you make the more you can upgrade what do you guys think of that what if we change it from like actually controlling your character to like Doing like a prison management game. More prisoners, more riots. Yeah, so we could have like a, a bar that says like, I don't know, prisoner morale or something. Do not fear, the OG is here. Welcome OG Connor, Connor Brooker. Okay, um, all right, so okay, so let's let's re let's reimagine this game for for quick. So this is a cool game. I like this game, but I don't think this game is on theme. Isn't that too complicated to make in a couple of days? What? On all the money creates you trouble, but definitely doesn't have to be in a prison. Yeah, so yeah, the prison the prison isn't necessary part of it. Like um Alright, so let's let's rethink this. What if we did like a management game where You have to, you can take in as many prisoners as you want. Each prisoner adds money, but it increases your riot bar. Um, dude, I wanted to thank you for encouraging me to make games. Now I'm animating a walk cycle. Uh, you did that, man. Don't get me credit. Congrats on the walk cycle. 
You have random prisoner fights and breakouts that you have to stop with guards. Better walls or sentry towers. Yeah, so... I like that. Um... Now you're on the walk cycle of walking to success. <laughs> Alright, so I'm thinking, so let's scrap, forget everything you know about this game. Uh, and we're going to add in a button. Uh, you can take on five prisoners per turn. Each prisoner... Makes you five gold per day, but increases riots and chaos by five percent. Um, and let's say it's like an RTS where you have to micromanage the guards, you have to move the guards randomly to stop, start breaking up fights, otherwise, they kill each other. If they kill each other, the coroner costs you, like, I don't know, $10 money. So, like, it really gets chaotic the more prisoners you have because they fucking fight each other, they kill each other, they do all this stuff. And then the more the more guards you have, now it's not a complete copy. Maybe new prisoners arrive periodically as well. That's not a bad idea. That could actually be the difficulty curve. Wait, is there a Ludum Dare on right now? Yeah, man, it started two hours ago. Where you been at? Where you been at? This is what we're working on. Ludum Dare. Um, all right, so let's 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 start on this. Let's start on this prototype. Let's delete all these guys except five. One, two. Three, four, five. So there's we start with five and one guard. Let me actually save a copy of this. Um down bridge. Save the original copy and then save a new one. Uh, prison simulator. I don't know, but this is the new one that we're, we're working on. Um, build defense towers around the prison. Prisoner death only worth ten dollars. Yo, haven't you watched a documentary on the prison system? They're worth way more alive. You know how much the government, the state pays? For prisoners every year? They're worth so much money. And you get free labor out of them. Like here in Florida, they're legit like they have to work out in farms and shit. Well they don't have to, but they um they get paid like five dollars a day. I'm not even joking, five dollars a day for commissary where they could buy like a honey bun or some shit and they have to work all day in like the farm and they do it just to get out of the fucking cell. And plus, the government subsidizes all that shit. They pay them like $60,000 a year per person. Okay, so this is now a simulation game. So, okay. I like the guard patrolling, so we can keep that. We can get rid of this. You have your idea, Starkey? That's good, dude. We can keep the update stat, add group uh, functions. We can keep this. I have three ideas and not sure which one to commit to. Commit to one of them. See how it happens. So we can make this invisible. Yeah, 
yet, so he can't run in the solids. Um, start a layout player. We didn't set the map to solid. It's weird that it would work automatically. Cat was being annoying. Did you say something? I didn't say a damn thing. Mix all three together. What's the worst that could happen? Overscoping is the worst that can happen in a loot of dare. Overscoping. Um... Why would that? I mean, I guess it's good, but. Time out. All right. Um. I don't know. Maybe, maybe this is kind of a little bit over scope. I'm trying to think, like we could totally make like a. We don't have to stick to prison. We could totally make like a simple mole game, where the more you collect to something, the crazier things get. Like think of like ascension, but like with collectibles. You know, like. We could do something simple. Hmm. All right. Um. For now, I'm gonna I'm gonna try and just build a prototype of this thing. So. What do you mean overscoping? I'm making open world FPS that is a whole independent AI. Colonies and multiple planets. Fake account. Good luck, man. Good luck. How about a game about making a game? Yeah, that sounds like a that sounds like a plan. That sounds like a plan. Let's make a game about making a game. Do you see how excited he is about that? You see his face? You can't see his face. Now you can see his face. He's so excited. I'm on the outside. I'm looking in. I can see through you. I can see the real you. Oh, you were singing a song. You made me say it out loud. Just tuned in. How's it going? Ossology, it's going good, man. I'm trying to build a prison simulation game where the more prisoners you get, the more it's fucked up. Okay. Um... Let's add a variable and call it tag. Tag is text. And then the text of all these will be guard. So the guard knows to use them. And we'll make it to where the, you have to pick the guard one. Pick a random, it's not overlapping. Tag is equal to guard. So that way we can reuse them for the inmates as well, and we'll just copy them. And the low player, we'll put one each in each cell. Oh shit! Did I copy four of them? I did. Okay, well, I'll change them inmate. 
no, we'll do uh, inmate cell. So we'll do a specific ones. Well, these will be in each cell. So we can pick at random whether we want them to go in their cell or not. And then we'll do inmate cafeteria. That'll be here. That's the cafeteria one. And then we'll do uh, recreation. We'll just pick them up random. Call it loot box frenzy. All right, on the start of layout, for each, for each uh, enemy inmate, we're actually we need a local variable. We'll call it. Uh, waypoint tag text and then we'll pick a random we'll set value waypoint tag it'll be choose inmate recreation inmate cafeteria inmate cell so it'll be one of those three and then we'll do this where we'll pick a random enemy waypoint where the tag equals the thing where tag equals waypoint tag and then we'll find them a path which this doesn't have the behavior Pathfinding. Perfect. Find path to enemy waypoint dot x enemy waypoint dot y. Using construct two, Ryan, yeah. That is what we're using. All right, so we set the random waypoint tag based on a random number. Then we pick a random instance with that tag and we set the path. Guard AI, let's also create a group called inmate AI. This goes in there. Or actually, let's do another start of layout. God damn it. Well, let me move it. Uh, so it picks it and then inmate on path found inmate 
move the long path. Uh, on path failed. On failed to find path, do the same thing again. Okay. Um, Alright, so this should send all the enemies going their own spit places, which it did, oh, okay, it sent him. It sent one guy somewhere. It didn't send anybody else anywhere. Cool thing about C2 is it generates a JavaScript game that you can use as a wrapper on Intel XDK, turn it a mobile game or other wrapper that makes it look like a Windows app. Dana, dude, did you hear about XDK? It sucks, man. It doesn't work anymore. They shut it down. I'm not happy with that. I loved XDK. Okay, um, did I spell everything right? Let me make sure I spell everything right. Inmate recreation. Inmate cafeteria. And then inmate cell. I miss XTK so much. That was a great piece of software. All right, let's try this again. All right, this time this guy went. Oh no, two of them went to recreation. No, he's going to sell. Okay, he's going to sell. All right, and sp the camera speed needs to increase. X speed. So does everybody doing Ludum Dare have the same subject topic? Yeah, they have the same theme. So, uh, Ryan, the theme right now is the more you have, the worse it is. And everybody has the same theme. We all got to make games based on, holy shit, the deceleration on that. Okay, so we got a random little inmates going places and stuff. All my stuff is dry. I gotta get in and lug it all home. Walking. See you later, Dana. Thanks for hanging out, man. Appreciate it. Um, Okay, so the guard went to a random place. What the fuck? What is going on? Guard AI. With the tag guard. Only these have... That's weird. Um... What if we are only a 10 dimensional world, but there are infinity more complicated dimensions inside the universe that contains 10 universes and infinity more? That is too much to answer on the stream. How does this game. God damn it, what is going on on Twitter? Silence my phone. <clears throat> Hi from South Sudan. Nice videos, bro. Thank you, dude. That's You're far from me. South Sudan is. Opposite side of the world. Uh, type question or exclamation point engine. It'll tell you my engine. Construct 2 is the engine I use. Um, okay.
Do, 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 do. You guys are having like complex discussions about time and dimensions. Are you going to have a win condition or just keep long as, going as long as you can? No, we're trying to make it to where you can win right now. I'm trying to make it to where... Honestly, I don't even know if I'm going to continue this idea, but I'm trying to get the prototype going so we can play it and see um, what it is. So right now, the only he's going to random. It's it's cool if the guard goes to any random one, I guess. See, like He can go in the cells. He can do all that. But the inmates need to go to random places. But let's work on the uh, the economy of this thing. Construct 3 is a disappointment because it's the same thing as Construct 2 except it runs in a browser. Um, one thing, the more inmates you have, the more money you get. But the more inmates you have, the crazier the prison gets. Like, shit goes out and you gotta manage. You gotta send your guards and, like, click them over. To do it to, like, where they're at. I don't know. I'm thinking... We're gonna need mouse commands, too. Mouse... Okay, and then guard AI on click left. Um, find path to mouse dot x mouse dot y. So the idea now is that you can send the guard anywhere you want. So like I'll send him here. Or over here so if if there are like fights let's say this will handle this guy or he can go in the um, in this in cell he'll go in the cell then he'll go out and check stuff um, I think I would have tried Ludum Dead this time, but of course my luck gets the respiratory inflammation. That sucks, man. I'm sorry. Your videos are really amazing, Tim. I recently co-founded a team and they started production on our first title, and they have given me a whole new mindset towards development, as well as finishing projects. Well, I'm glad to help, man. I'm glad you uh, you guys started making cool games, because the world needs more games. Appreciate the kind words, dude. Okay, so we control where this guy goes. The, it's too... Alright, I... Guys, I'm not feeling this game. Even though I haven't gotten the prototype yet, I'm just not feeling what we've got. So I'm probably thinking, like, tomorrow... Maybe we'll I don't know, I wanna make something web based because Ludum Dare, like everybody plays on the web. Like I know the people that are gonna be playing the game on Ludum Dare website we play on a web. But mobile's my thing. And I feel like this theme is probably really good for a single mechanic mobile game. The more you have the worse it is. And I just feel like, one, to make this fun, we'd have to add a lot of features. And I feel like that would just overscope the weekend. Like, realistically, we've got to have the game finished tomorrow. Like, the game has to be finished tomorrow so we can spend Sunday polishing. Um... Like, I'd have to make all kinds of AI for the inmates to fight. I'd have to make all kinds of systems... And I just feel like it's overscoping. Um,
but Dominic is getting deep in the chat. He's talking about blank vasted nothingness and black holes and why are we here? Okay. Um I'm trying to think. I, I just I don't think this works. I don't think this works at all. It'd be fun. It's just too big of a scope for a weekend. Um. So I'm gonna save this. So the something you have is supposed to be beneficial in some way, but also detriment. Beneficial is not required. Uh, the theme is just the more you have, the worse it is. So it doesn't have to be beneficial at all. Um, Ryan, so... Yeah, like, I'm trying to think... I'm trying to, I'm trying to think, because, like... I feel like the trade-off would be fun... But I just think it's probably a little too much scope for 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 this thing. So I think we need to go back to the drawing board. Um, Want to look? <laughs> uh, the more I pray, the worse it gets. What? Depressing. Life just gets worse. We could make like a, a commentary game about like depression or something. That was on the original list. One of my favorite arcade games is Missile Command, where more and more missiles are launched at cities and you need to protect more individual things the player needs to manage might be interesting. Yeah, that's a good game. Um, I'm thinking more in terms of like collectibles, like if you're collecting something, it makes shit worse for you. Like. Almost like, cause like, in Ascension, this game, well, no, Ascension is a really good one. I don't know. I'm kind of, I'm kind of disheartened to be honest. I'm kind of like, I'm kind of bummed. Cause I just, I don't feel like this is gonna work. The more meat you have, the more dogs they're chasing you. That's a good idea. How about operating a generator that keeps making more energy and you have to spawn items that use energy before it overloads? Call it absolute power. That's interesting. That actually would have been a good game for the last Ludum Dare because the theme was running out of power. Mike, you were AFK, dude. I think we're just going to abandon this idea. It's not, it's just, it's, to make this what I want it to be, it's gonna, we're gonna have to overscope. Like, I made it to where he goes where you tell him to do, he can break up fights and stuff. Um, but it's just, uh, it's gonna be a lot of work. And I don't think it's gonna, it's gonna work, because the game has to be done tomorrow. I make it simpler, like a burglar who is trying to carry ingots of gold out of a vault. The more you have, the harder it is to move and escape. We, Ben, we, that was one of the first things we actually tried, though. We actually tried 
that exact thing, uh, not in that theme, but the more you collect, the slower you get. And we found that just like slower player, slowing down the player was not fun at all. It just made the game less fun. Uh, so we decided against slowing down the player at all, which is how we ended up with this random ass police idea or thing. The longer it would take you, the more risk. Yeah, like, I think we need to balance risk and reward, but we definitely need to make whatever the collection thing is a little more chaotic, like, as it goes. But, like, you can do that in multiple ways, right? It doesn't have to be on theme. It'll be a mobile game where the more coins you collect, the harder the game gets. Like, the higher the score, the harder the game. We could do, like, one of those never-ending mobile games. We could do a lot of different things. Um... I don't know. I'm just, I'm kind of disheartened by this idea. I'm just, what could we limit besides speed? See, I don't know if limiting is, is right. It'd probably be find ways to add stuff that makes it more chaotic. So like in this game, it would be adding a, an extra inmate makes the game more chaotic but it gives you more money maybe it does not affect speed but makes you more noticeable you could do like a, a racing game or something where like the the more you collect the faster you go because then it'd be harder and harder to control be about the knowledge you have the, the more knowledge you have the worse it gets ignorance is bliss that's interesting that's a really abstract idea though on how we'd convey that yeah generally limiting is a, is probably something to look down on um i was trying to figure out because like we want it to be fun, right? I think that's the most important thing. How about a racing game? You can collect stuff that makes you go faster. That's a great idea. I wonder where you got that idea. Tower defense. With more towers you spawn, the more mobs are spawned too. So building a small number of upgraded turrets. Careful placement is the way to win. When a player feels limited, they feel like you're missing out. Yeah, for sure. I agree with that. What about a game where you have to drive cars to the parking area? The more they come, the harder it is. Limited inventory. Yeah, we could do something like that. We, we could, um, I'm trying to think though, like, I don't know guys, I think, I think I'm going to probably need some time to, to think about this and go over stuff. Um, I'm going to go to bed early tonight, I think, and we'll get up right and early. I'll probably stream around. 11 12 1 tomorrow and we'll head at it all day um but i'm probably yeah i'm kind of disheartened by this i'm gonna i'm gonna go back to the drawing board i'm gonna mess with some stuff and we'll 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 figure it out tomorrow but i'm gonna end the stream tonight um check back tomorrow around like 12 or 1 uh EST. I'll be streaming again. I'll be streaming again Sunday. Um, I'll loot them there. We're going to finish the game in a weekend. It's going to be awesome. We're going to hang out. Uh, so, you know, make sure you do that. Follow me, like, subscribe, do all that stuff so you can keep track when I stream tomorrow. Uh, I got a bunch of stuff on YouTube that you can watch if you're having trouble with game development. Uh, but thank you guys for coming out the stream. I appreciate it. We'll figure this out. I know we will. I, I have confidence we'll figure this out. 
but I appreciate you hanging out and um, tomorrow we'll get this all sorted. Ryan, thanks for coming through. Isaac, Osology, Constantine, Dominic, Darren, Mike, Xtrone, all you guys, I appreciate you. See you later.